Hey guys, I'm a Cyborg Sheep, and welcome to the Weekend Post. In this episode, we're going to be playing Canyon Defense 2. I've played this game many times before, and it is awesome. Basically speaking, this game is just what it says on the tin. It's defending a canyon, and more importantly, your base, from multiple different types of enemies, through which you can defend by using different types of ground and air cannons to make sure that your base stays protected as well as all sorts of other stuff in the game. But there's also lots of other features so let's get started. Now as you can see I've just recently played through a whole bunch of these. I I, I was playing Nitro and I was like this is boring. Uh, so I, I just re I remembered this game and I was like yes I want to play that. But I didn't realize at the time oh hey I want to play this. So, or regardless, we're still going to start at level 1. I'll, I'll maybe do some skipping. Um, I'll do one, then I'll maybe do... What's the next one that gets into... Yeah. Sort of, I'll maybe skip to level... To mission 7. Uh, but other than that, let's get started. So, uh, this is... The first few levels are basically tutorial levels, so uh, you can press skip, so blah blah blah. Yeah, okay, so the goal is to defend your base. This is your base right here from elimination. The em enemies will appear from the entrance up here of the canyon and move towards your base to shoot at it or explode it. The base can destroy weak enemies by itself. As you can see, it has that little blue gun right there. It actually will turn and shoot at the enemies. But it's not good to be leaving it on its own. So you have other things up here, which I'm sure... So yes, you must build towers on the canyon banks to defend your base. Uh, you have money. There's all sorts of enemies. These two here in particular are demolition men. And they'll basically, they're suicide guys. They run into anything and blow up. Uh, surprisingly though, they don't get killed in the explosion, which I find is pretty interesting. Uh, but anyways, we're going to keep going. So yeah, anyways, I think that's enough. So we can, let's see, we'll put one right here and right here. And we'll start the attack. So there's the demolition man. As you can see, he has a little red health bar up there. And as this cannon shoots him, it'll slowly start to trickle down. Uh, so we have enough money for another mounted gun. We can put it up there. We'll bring on the next wave. So these, these enemies currently are demolition man. There's also two squad soldiers and swappers. Uh, and then at the end, there's a whole bunch of demolition men. Uh, so lots lots of types of enemies. There's many more, but uh, just to, you know, give you a, a taste of what's coming. Anyways, let's uh, bring on the next wave. These guys are a little bit beefier. They have a bigger amount of hit points. No problem for my cannons though. And there we go. Okay. Uh, now swappers, swappers are a little bit faster. So let's stick you right there. Yeah, so you can see. Yeah, my base took damage, but also it shot at the guys, so that's good. We can buy an anti-air tower, and what that will defend from is aerial enemies. So they'll they'll actually be like planes that'll come overhead and shoot at your cannons. Um, but yeah, let's stick that there, and let's bring on the last wave. These are just tiny demolition men. Nothing hard. And there we go! Victory! 
Okay, there we go. So, we'll go back to the map because I don't want to go in order. So let's say map and let's now do mission 7. The main few enemies that I've encountered are ground, air, and then there's bosses. The two bosses, or three that I've seen, there is attack helicopters that will come in. They won't attack anything, although they'll drop troops uh, not at the beginning, but a little further into the map. There's, I, I call them like drill, drill trucks. Anyways, then there's also cluster bots. And they're basically, once you kill them, they'll multiply. So, creates an interesting mix of enemies. There's also, like, these mechs, which aren't bosses, but they're used fairly frequently, and they have a bunch of health. But anyways, uh, let's go and do level 7, because that's where the action really starts happening. So... I played this before, and I'm going to stick one right there and right there. And we will start attack. Now, you'll find out, by, by this point you will have found out that there's, at least if you play in order, that there is a wall factory. So you'll notice that there's this whole space here that you can, that uh, isn't being used. But you can actually build a wall right there, and most enemies, um, uh, now I haven't tested this, I think drill bosses might come and drill that out, but generally speaking, you can basically cut off here, so enemies will have to go around and you can make them have to go for a longer time, but uh, anyways... Uh, do we have uh, the monies? Yes, we do. So we will stick another one right here. Alright, we got two squad soldiers. There they come. Fire it well. One enemy down. Two enemies down. There we go. Okay. Uh, now. Okay. Yeah. I'll figure that out later. Um, let's put one right there. And okay. Got one swapper and one squad soldier. So, let's see how this goes. He almost got to it there. Dang guy. Now. I'm a, I don't know if I've talked about these, but these are, they're, they're like walls. Like, once the enemy comes up to them, it will have to stop and shoot at the wall and destroy it. That's useful because once, once it's stopped, you can have like your really heavy defenses up here. Uh, just so long as they're not too powerful that they don't bust down the wall, you can make sure that they stop that they don't go any further than here but this wall can only take so much damage and eventually it will just fall to bits so you'll have to start defending this wall and eventually your base once they break down these two walls but anyways let's put another mounted gun right there so there we have three mechs so we'll have to be prepared for that 110. Uh, I'm gonna get me an anti air tower because there is uh, airborne enemies in this uh, level. So, this guy here, as you can see, when you kill him, he spawns three demolition men. And oh goodness, we're taking damage. Oh, yeah, so you see there blew up the wall a bit, but he still survives. I find that so strange. Anyways, we'll stick another mounted gun right here. Oh man, taking massive damage! Oh no! 
Oh goodness, okay, that wasn't good. Okay, uh, yeah. Time for give, time for some serious defense. And I'll stick one right here. And... Ugh, that wasn't good. Uh, and this ain't gonna be good either, so let's start it. Yeah, look at how much health those guys have. Absolute beasts. Okay, there's the first one. Oh, damn it. This isn't good. Oh, no. Kill it. Oh, whew. Okay, they've broken through. So, got to start defending the base back here little bit. Uh, let's go and let's have you right there. And I have money for one more. Let's stick you right there. And let's bring on the next wave. This should be a little bit easier to survive because I don't have three of them coming after me. So, you see that blue one there? We have air bombers. But, and uh, they also... Uh, some enemies can have shields and uh that adds to their health and it can also give them special abilities for example there's a speed shield which will make enemies go faster uh, this is just a basic shield it just adds to the health this is a hard shield which adds more to the health but anyways all sorts of interesting stuff there as you can see, we've unlocked the air support facility. I'll show what that does later. We also unlocked the cannon, and we also have a stun gun, we, which we actually have enough money for, which I might actually stick right here. Yeah. This can be used if you want to keep an enemy, like, like in a place that's like... Aside from walls, you can also use these, but they they don't stop the enemy. They just slow it down. So that's uh, so I gotta get my air defenses up here. So let's put you right here. Now, uh, the designations. These green cannons here are only only shoot to ground enemies. These blue cannons will shoot to air enemies. Hence the name Anti-Air Tower. These are ground and air, so they'll shoot to ground enemies and they'll shoot to air enemies. Good to put beside these things because you can have them slow, have this slow the enemy down and then have it take it out with this guy. These also do deal a, lot, a little bit of damage, but not much. Anyways, let's bring on the next wave. Swappers inbound! Look at that money. Do I have enough? Oh, I got enough. Okay, let's stick you right there. And let's put you right there. Okay. So now... I still have some money, so what we'll do is we'll put you there and there. And we'll bring on the next wave. We got nine swappers. Right now, I'm not making too much use of that space, but I will as time progresses. Now, we see our first boss. Now, this is this is a boss that takes the air, and this is the one where it, it'll fly in. It'll drop enemies in a random location, and then it'll just fly away. They It doesn't do damage to anything, but hey, we could get a cannon. Let's do this. Bam. Stun gun beside it. This is gonna deal some massive damage. Let's go. Oh, shoot. We have, uh... Yeah, so... Oops, didn't... Wasn't prepared for that. Now, as you can see, our base... 
will will actually attack them, but the en the air enemies will not attack us. At least not our base. They will attack our defenses, but not our base. Kind of interesting. Uh, let's stick another one of you right there, just for just because sym symmetry. And let's see what we can get. Let's have. Oh, what? Oh, that took out my cannon. Darn! I had a uh, stun gun right here, and the darn air bombers took it out. Okay. This is gonna be some. Oops, recording stopped, and I probably missed a bunch of footage. But anyways, uh, so, uh, just to so I don't know how much I missed, but I'll pick back up on airstrike. So, uh, well, hold on. Do we have? Let's stick a mounted gun right there. And already we're uh, seeing enemies. So we have tanks, which lots of health on these suckers. Nothing compared to my. Uh, now I don't know if I talked about this upgrades. Now originally uh, we would have the mounted gun one. We now have the m mounted gun two, which these are absolute beasts. Like. Couple that with the fact that you have so many of the flipping things once you upgrade. Like, it's awesome. Um, I covered over this wall. But other than that, uh, air enemies, you know, I talked about them. I don't know if I got it, but anyways. Um, let's see here. Uh, we can... Let's... We can reclaim our guns, though when I've recently been testing it, I've realized that it doesn't give you back the full fifty dollars. It uh, and we'll put in its place a stun gun so that this guy's a little bit f better at uh, taking them out. Other than that, let's uh, let's get some more air towers so that we're ready. Uh, and okay. Swappers, let's go! Bam! And I just love the sound of it, it when they shoot. It's amazing. It's like... Tew, 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 tew. So much... so much, And so much more... Like, awesome sounding than the uh, original mounted gun once. Anyways, uh, so... We have, uh, what are these, support stations, and what they'll do is, uh, let's be, let's make sure I'm absolutely 100% ready for things to come. Uh, let's bring in some more of these, and I'll stick another mounted gun there. Um, but other than that, I think we is good. We can continue repairing these, so... Oops, that's the wrong thing. So, basically speaking, with this, if you click on it, it will repair the weapons. Now, as you can see, this didn't get completely repaired because I don't have enough money. And uh, it takes from your money to do stuff. But anyways, let's say next wave. I didn't actually click it, but anyways. So these have speed shields, and uh, what they'll do is they'll make... The enemies go crazy fast. But anyways, they're the the shields in uh, in terms of my guns, like pff, screw off. You mean nothing to me. Uh, let's use that, and we'll have that ready for stuff to happen. Okay, but generally speaking, I think we're ready. So. And there we go. Okay, we got one more boss, and uh, then that's it. So, uh, let's just get our air towers set up. We'll, uh, okay, and let's go. Now, these ones have a hard, a basic shield, actually. And, uh, like I said, or didn't say because I missed it, 
these basically. Holy, that damage! Whoa, victory!